One of the most common things I say to people when we're working in the studio is quit thinking. I don't want the people I'm working with to be consciously aware of what they're doing. I, I don't want them thinking about it. I, want, I don't want them being analytical. I want them in their flow state. And what I mean by flow state is this. Have you ever noticed that you tend to play better or record better parts when you're not even thinking, when you're just doing it, just thoughtlessly vibing, and you're not reading the lyrics or reading a chord chart because you've got them memorized, they're internalized inside of you. On the other hand, when you're thinking about the parts, reading the lyrics, trying to sing and perform, wondering if people are going to like the song, and generally just being too deliberate and consciously aware of what you're doing, that it's all just kind of boring and lacks that spark. But why is that? Well, I think it's because of the speed of thought. You see, the signals that are going through all the gear here is going something like, 3,160 miles per second. And the speed of sound is going about 1,100 feet per second. But your nervous system, your nervous system is only going at about 88 and a half feet per second. And some are transmitting signals as slow as one mile per hour, such as the neurons for your reward centers and the ones for pain are almost as slow. Now, while these signals are still way slower than electrical signals or the speed of sound, we're still only talking about a few milliseconds. Big deal, right? But these are your nervous system signals for basic body functions, movement, you know, really instinctual things and stuff like that. What about cognition? When you look at something, it takes a little bit of time for the light to go into your eyes and to be turned into a signal and be sent into your brain. And then it needs to be shot to the rear of your brain, which is the occipital lobe, which in itself has several regions such as V1, V2, V4, and so on that need to process the signal. From there, it goes to the visual associative cortex, which tells you where and what it is you're seeing. Then the signal is shot up to the motor cortex so you can physically respond to the information you've just seen. So all of this processing adds up to about a quarter of a second, which is 250 milliseconds. In case you're not used to measuring things in milliseconds, let me show you how long 250 milliseconds is. Here we've got two beeps, 250 milliseconds apart. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Now that still may not seem like a long time to you, but let me tell you something. You can hear the difference between two musicians either playing tightly together or being kind of off by as little as 10 milliseconds. Let me show you what 10 milliseconds sounds like. Here's two beeps, 10 milliseconds apart. Do you hear them? Does it sound like one beep to you? That's two beeps. Here's one beep. Here's two beeps, 10 milliseconds apart. If the interactions between two musicians being off by 10 milliseconds can affect the way the music feels and how you perceive it, what do you think 250 milliseconds is gonna do? But anyway, that's why it's best not to be reading something when you're playing and probably why we close our eyes when we're vibing and doing something really cool because it removes the visual processing and interpretation that goes along with it and gets in the way of being in the moment creatively. But what about pure thought? Just thinking to yourself. Every thought is transmitted across thousands, if not millions of neurons. The signals that make up these thoughts must literally jump across a space from one neuron to the next, to the next, to the next, to complete the circuit. The most present, in the moment, you can be with inner thought, just thinking to yourself, can take from 250 milliseconds up to half a second. The brain power you're using to read a chart, read some lyrics, or think about something some obnoxious producer told you to do is just slowing you down and taking you out of the moment. In fact, it's causing you to live in the past because everything you've experienced has already happened. But there's some good news. And all you gotta do is just listen. Hearing is the fastest sense that we have. It's 50 milliseconds, which is way faster than consciously thinking about things. In fact, your brain can sense changes to sound that occur in less than a millionth of a second. The point is, you need to get away from the conscious brain. You need to be operating on an instinctual level, thoughtless creation. 
But how do you get there? Practice. 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 When you practice your craft enough, it eventually becomes second nature. You don't even have to think about it. It's your existence. So like I said at the beginning of this video, quit talking about it, quit thinking about it, just do it.